Egyptian batik designer Samar Hassanin has been working in Egypt for years on improving the art of batik. Patterned cloth made by using a wax resistant dyeing technique. It consists of creating patterns by applying melted wax onto cloth before dipping it into dye or painting over it with a brush. The fabric is then immersed in boiling water to melt the wax. Batik has disappeared because no one shared their skill. As a teacher, I find that it's very important to provide as much training as I can because people realize how difficult it is when they start learning the techniques. The length of the batik making process can vary from one week to several months, depending on the number of colors, patterns and size. Some Egyptians are now concerned over the large number of foreign batik cloths in the country and want to create their own homegrown market. I wish we could have our own Egyptian style instead of importing clothing from abroad, especially because our heritage has so much variety. We have unique styles in Sinai, in Siwa. We also have peasant clothing. Each one of these is totally different from the other. We also have Nubian clothing, which is a completely different thing. Our main competitor in batik fashion is Southeast Asia. They have had a great reputation for a very long time. So we need to come up with something unique related to us that people can identify. Batik fabric is made in other countries across Africa, such as Nigeria, Benin and even in Ghana. It uses a technique that dates back to the golden age of fabric making.